All four New Testament Gospels report that Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor, turned Jesus over to be crucified. But the Gospels maintain that before he did this, he also declared Jesus to be innocent. In the Gospel of Luke, he says this three times. And in Matthew, he washes his hands in front of the people, claiming that this frees him of responsibility for killing an innocent man. But the question remains, if he believed Jesus was innocent, why did he have him crucified? A simple answer is that Jesus had many enemies who were threatening to riot, and Pilate didn't want that kind of trouble on his watch. The Roman historian Josephus portrays Pilate as a brutal man who was cavalier about justice. And if that depiction is correct, it is not hard to imagine him saying, this guy may be innocent, but it's not worth my bother to sort things out any further. In support of this idea, we may recognize that hundreds of Jews were crucified by Pontius Pilate. It seems unlikely that he investigated all of the cases very thoroughly. In recent years, however, many scholars have gone further. Pontius Pilate, they claim, was very astute, and he knew that while Jesus might be technically innocent of crimes against Rome, he was very dangerous. Jesus was what some historians call a social revolutionary. A political revolutionary tries to change society from the top down by replacing whoever is in power. A social revolutionary tries to change society from the bottom up to change the hearts and minds of the common people in such a way that it does not matter who is at the top. Examples are Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., and Jesus of Nazareth. According to this theory, Pilate had heard what Jesus taught about reversal of values, encouraging people to honor the poor and shame the rich, to value children and servants, the weak and the vulnerable. He knew, correctly, that while Jesus was not doing anything illegal, the philosophy he was spreading could pose a greater threat to Roman status quo than any armed revolution. So, two theories why a powerful Roman ruler would order the execution of an innocent man. One, he knew almost nothing about the man and just didn't care. Or two, he knew quite a bit about this innocent Jesus, enough to know he was very dangerous. Mm -hmm.